and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Three simple steps. Oh, I only got two fingers, one finger. <laughs> Three simple steps to heal a sprained finger. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a step-by-step -step procedure. It works very well every time. And, and I, uh, Brad, have you had these? I've had many of these. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, more so when I was younger. Yeah. I was doing a little more ball playing activities. Right. I got it in basketball all the right. time. Yep. So. Yep. I, by the way, I had a friend, well, we'll, we'll talk about that later because it actually fits in with whether or not you should get an x-ray. I know, so. but I want to hear about your friend. <laughs> well, he, he actually, he, he, he sprained his finger or hurt it, he jammed it, and he, he was going into the service, so he didn't want to go in uh, for x-rays in case yeah. it was broke, and they found out later that, yeah, it was splintered. Um, oh, it was, was broke. Yeah, it was broke once he was in the service. So. Well, that'll segue yeah. into our thing, but well, yeah, by the way, if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Mm. Also, go over to Facebook and like us because, Brad, all this week we're begging people to please like us. Please, yeah. please. Okay. Okay, Bob, we have a, 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 an array, array of uh, things you can uh, probably just pick up at home around in your house, and they're all very useful for treating a sprained finger. Gotcha. Uh, first of all, sprained fingers are no fun. Initially, they're very painful almost always. And then you wonder, is it broke or not, oftentimes? And we get a lot of questions on that on the comment section. And, you know, actually, the, I don't know if it's good news or bad news, but if it's broke, the treatment is oftentimes the same as if it's not the Initial broke. treatment. Yeah, initial treatment, right. Um, so, but obviously, I mean, f number one, if you look at it and it's angulated, I mean, right. it, it's crooked, you know, I mean, then you should go in. Crooked because, in the way it's not supposed yeah, to be, and not, obviously not this crooked. Yeah, cro <laughs> like bent off to the one side. Yeah. Um, obviously, then it, it may be either dislocated or it may be right fractured. And, and I've, you know, I, I actually had a kid while I was playing basketball, while I was coaching, he actually dislocated his finger and his dad just went and pulled it and it straightened out again. Sure, well, that's, an, that's an option. I, I guess we're not going to recommend that. Yeah, we're that. not going to recommend that yeah, at all. Let, let a doctor do that. Uh, the other thing is if there's a lot of bruising, uh, sometimes that's more indication that something was torn or broken. Right, ligament. So, so. Right. You know, but I, either way, number one, the, the first step is always the same. Right, and that's to, all. right. We're right. going to try to get the swelling down. Right. So I'll, I'll go through the three steps and then we're going to go through the options of how to go through each step. First sure. step is price, or otherwise rest it, ice it, elevate it, get the swelling down. So the big thing is get a cold pack on it. Now, it's nice to have a gel cold pack that you can kind of wrap around it. around it. Yep. Um, I suppose a bag of peas would work. Maybe, yep. Yeah, you, you could use that. But I think the best thing, and this is what I've used and had patients use, is get a bowl, put some ice cubes in it, put some water in it, and then just Stick your hand in it, and it completely is wrapped by cold. Pull up an ice cube so we can prove that there's actually oh, ice yeah. in there, Brad. So. Yeah. You want to eat one? <laughs> well, no, but they can't see from there. You, they can, I know, be, but if I tip it, I know. I don't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyways, it definitely works well. Uh, you know, 15 to 20 minutes in there is really going to cool it down. And then, uh, do I have my towel, Bob? Yeah. And then... Uh, and you could actually just stick one finger in there sure, if you want. Sure, you mean, bet. Um, because it, it would get pretty cold on the whole hand. I'm going to get that out of the way just so we don't have an accident. By the way, when I was in school, in therapy school, we had to dip our whole ankle in a, a, a cold bath. Oh, sure. An ice bath. Yep, for a sprained and ankle. I had one friend that actually passed out. Oh, really? Because, yeah, because he couldn't tolerate it. And for me, my, it went numb so fast. It didn't bother me at all. I'm just like, what's wrong with you, all you people? So it's that, interesting. That though. is an advantage. It cools down quicker. You know, 15 to 20 minutes is more than long enough. It's going to cool down, help the swelling. And then you want to splint it. Right. Step two is splint protect it. Protect it. Right, protect it. There's a, three different ways we're going to show to protect it. The first and easiest way is the buddy splint, where, where Bob has it shown right here. You simply got, you know, a good finger here. You could buddy splint it to either... Uh, finger on either side of it, and then uh, I get a little more worried when you start using that middle finger, Brad. So well, sure. <laughs> so you know, it depends which finger is actually sprained is going to determine. But the one, yeah. right, the healthy one next to it, just and you can use 
any kind of tape, but we use blue tape just so you could see it today. Right, right. But so some strong tape, and you can put more tape on than this, but you're gonna hold them together. And if it's not a real bad sprain, that may suffice, and you may get through the whole injury just by buddy tape and using a cold pack. If it's real severe, then you're gonna buddy tape, and then elevate it too. So you don't want to sit yeah. in a chair with it down low. You yeah, want to put get, some pillows on it. Sure. Either. Watching TV, elevate it above your heart so that. Help that swelling, you know, get out of the finger. Move its way down. By the way, you can do this on a big toe too. Oh, I sure. Mean, if you, uh, I mean, it's actually the same almost. Right. I mean, you could. But uh, the title I, of it's finger. I know. <laughs> we should maybe put three simple steps to heal a sprain. Or the finger. Or toe. <laughs> look at all the other viewers we'll bring yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. So. Well, more benefit. Okay. So let's look at the next step. Is you can just take a popsicle stick. Here, this is a tongue depressor. You know, if someone's in, you know works in the hospital at your house, you can get a tongue depressor. Popsicle sticks work just as good. And we actually broke this one, yeah. so it, would be, it wouldn't be as long. Yeah, because otherwise it goes down into the palm of your hand. I mean, you could do that if you wanted, but it works better if you just simply break, break the stick. And see, I'm, yep. I'm limited now. If you wanted to protect it more, you could put a stick on both sides, tape this one down, and then I put that one, and then tape that one down over the top, and then you got some more protection on it. You know, if you're going to school and you're bumping it around a little bit, that can help protect, particularly the tip of the finger, you can go over the top of the tip, because if, if you got a swollen finger and you bang that tip of sure. the finger on, you know, through a door jam or something, it's not very fun. So uh, do yeah, that. That would be complete protection. Yep. Very cheap, nice ways to work it. And the other way, now this isn't so cheap. If you happen to have, this came out of a wrist splint, but you can get finger splints at the, uh, at the not the hardware store, but well, <laughs> the pharmacy. At the drugstore in a right. pharmacy. And the yeah. thing is they're soft metal. They're made out of soft metal that you can bend because sometimes it's hard to get the fingers straight to splint and you want a slight bend in it because it's more comfortable. And so like here, I'm gonna bend this so we have a slight bend and it's comfortable that way. Eventually you're gonna to wanna to straighten it out you know, to get, get the fingers straight. But one way or another, you're protecting it and I'm not gonna take the time on the video to tape it, but it'd be the same taping as that. Uh, yeah, I don't think people, a lot of people realize on the wrist splints and stuff like that, they, are, they do have this moldable, moldable metal. Right. That's hard to say. Mold <laughs> moldable metal. Yeah, and, and it's soft and you can conform and yeah, bend and it. that's why wrist splints, can, you can make them to the point where they fit you better. Right. And this is the, the, right. the right, right material for it. All right, so after, after this period of time, if it's still really bad and it's still not bending and still, maybe you should go in for x-rays at that point. If it's not getting better at right. all. And you were talking after, you know, probably three to six days if right. it continues to, you know, you should be able to take the splint off and start to move a little bit more and it should be moving more and the swelling's down and as the swelling goes down, moves more. Um, and then if, you, if that's going well, then you can actually kind of help sure. it out with your other hand. You're going to... Try and bend a little bit more at, at each joint. At each joint, move it down yep. the line, right. And down. And once you can start moving it, and we call this active assistive range of motion or passive range, it's kind of in between there. And once you can start to do this without help, then it's time to start strengthening. So we're on our third step. Well, one thing I was just going to bring up, Brad, sure. you know, if you're still concerned about being broke, I hate to keep coming back to that, but yep. fractured. Nope, you fine. know, a lot of times the pain will not be in the joint it might be in the shaft of sure. the, you know, in the actual bone itself. Right. If you squeeze on here like this or this or here and here, and it hurts there, yep. I'm going to go in yeah. at that point. If there's that one spot, and right. it's very specific. Uh, yeah. Very specific, but it's not on the joint. Right. So mm -hmm. that's another good sign. Yep. So uh, I, on the other hand, if it's not, and probably most of the time it won't be fractured. It's usually, right. it's usually not. And you can start to do this, and then you want to get it stronger so you can start getting back into the game or you know whatever activity you're, you're looking at. But this should be pain free. Right. Yeah. Uh, you, you can't be. You know, once you can get f pretty full range of motion and it's not hurting. Yep. Then you can go to something like this. And you could just take a balloon or, or a ball that has some. It's soft. We want something that doesn't have a lot of resistance, so you can start to give it some resistance and squeeze there. You can just do one finger, the finger that's sprained, or you can help it out with and do the whole fist together and then work it to the one finger. And once that gets too easy, you're gonna do this, you know, for 10 to 20 reps. If that gets too easy and you're squeezing it in pretty deep, then you might go to a ball like this. This is one of those squish balls that has the, the, the goo sure. inside. 
um, and you're going to go to a, a little more resistive ball, and you might even get a hot, bigger diameter ball. Nerf balls work really well. This one's pretty stiff, so this one you're going to use when it's pretty strong already. I mean, the, the, coming down to the, the end of the rehab, the strengthening aspect of this whole uh, rehab. And uh, once you're at that point, you're, you're, you can get you back into the good. game. And you yeah. can do general mobility exercises too. Like you can take it and t touch your thumb to each, each finger. Yeah, that's a nice one to do. Yeah, and then the tabletop up to the claw. Yep. Tabletop up to the claw. That, that's just some real therapeutic and then the full type fist. programs. Yeah. So those are just some good ones to, to, yeah. to work, work with too. So. Excellent. So you go one, two, three, you know, within a week or two, hopefully you're back in the game yeah. shooting hoops. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>